Hey guys, welcome to my fan art video. I added a whole bunch of really cool things to my fan art collection and I wanted to share them with you. First, I'm just going to show the small stuff. This is a Roxas that I got. I've got other stuff that is from this same artist and I absolutely love it. Most of all, I love this Kyo that she did. I absolutely had to have it. I love Kyosoma so much, so that's another one. Okay, next is Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist. I love Hughes. I love Hughes so much. He's such a cute dad and he's such a like doting parent. I don't know, he's just amazing in every way and this captures that so much and so well like with his little wallet full of pictures of his daughter. Okay, no con would be complete without getting something Harry Potter related and this is one of the coolest Harry Potter fan arts I've ever seen anywhere. I love the way they made Harry's eyes look, and how adorable Hermione is. Snape looks so pensive, and Dumbledore... Dumbledore's just amazing no matter what you do with him. It's just beautiful. Okay, I don't know if you know how big an Avatar The Last Airbender fan I am, but when I saw this, I freaked out. This is a whole bunch of gingerbread men. Each one is a different character from Avatar The Last Airbender. The artist who drew this originally just drew it as a doodle. It was so loved by Nick Magazine that they asked her if they could publish it. And she did this version for them specifically and it was published in Nick Magazine. It's just amazing. Okay, whenever I go to a con I have to get yaoi stuff. I just have to get yaoi stuff. And this was hot. I mean, it was kind of wrong because it's Sora from Kingdom Hearts and for most of the series, he's like a little boy. But um, this artist has taken this whole new spin on Sora. He is all man. They've given him a Silent Hill makeover, so he looks really serious. And they're calling it Silent Kingdom. So there you go. Feast your eyes on manly Sora with like an amazing tattoo. And yeah. Look at those obliques. Anyway, just looking at this one makes me feel like I should be blushing, and I probably am. But I love those Vs. You gotta love those Vs. Alright, so far everything I've shown you has been from Akon. There are only, I think, three more pieces, and they're all from Anime Fest. I just got them yesterday or the day before. Um, the first one is Axel and Roxas. As you know, I adore Axel and Roxas. Axel first made a major impression on me in Kingdom Hearts 2 when he says to Sora, if Roxas is dead, you might as well kill me too, or I might as well be dead too. But the impression was that, like, for me, I felt like he loved Roxas more than life itself, and without Roxas, he just couldn't go on. And ever since then, I've loved this pairing so much. I just have to get anything adorable or cute or romantic uh, that is Axel and Roxas. So this is, this is just adorable. Next I've got from one of my favorite people, I just love her, her name is Halo. She does the most adorable zombies. This one is puking candy. I don't know how well you can see it, but she's the most adorable zombie I've ever seen in my whole life. I really don't think I need to say anything about this one. I think this one speaks for itself, but I will let you know. It's Koga from Inuyasha. It's by Amelie Bester, and she does great stuff. But yeah, check that out. Isn't that sexy as hell? Yeah, that's what I thought. One of my favorite things to do at a con is have a little chibi portrait of myself done. And this year I was lucky enough to get one done by the awesome webcomic artist Trunks. Check him out. He's, his webcomic is suretobebanned.com. Fred Trunks Wood. He's really cool. Okay, after years, I finally was able to get one of my favorite prints by Halo. It is another Harry Potter print. It's Bellatrix Lestrange, pre-Azkaban, in like a gorgeous gown with her hair all done up perfectly in the way that you would kind of expect from a wealthy elite Slytherin. So, I'm just in love with how cute and lovely and exquisite she is with her hair like that. So, 
that's that's my last major purchase from Anime Fest. One more thing, uh, Cyanide and Happiness was there, and the artist who does Cyanide and Happiness signed this for me. That's my program from Anime Fest, and I thought that was pretty cool that he was there. I love Cyanide and Happiness. Anyway, thanks for sticking with me through all this, and have a good one. Bye.